pieces that, and that she has written a story, which she has given you for a keepsake, but I would prefer that you would not read the story while she plays, because I will read it, and then I will pause for her to read the instructions, uh, to, to play the, the, the piece. She will give, a, she will take a bow at the beginning, at which everyone will applaud uproariously, because I guarantee it. <laughs> My kids over here. So, and then please hold your applause until the end when she will stand up and take a bow again. And then you may applaud, you may stamp your feet, you may whistle, you may throw flowers, you may throw money. <laughs> Can we throw kids? <laughs> okay, so now let me just mention, because there are several children here, that, uh, you know, squirming and, and, and stuff is okay, but if you're talking, while someone is performing, they think no matter what you're saying, there's a snake crawling up my back, or the ants just bit my leg, or anything, or it's, it, I'm too hot or something, the person who's performing thinks you're talking about them. And so you want to be very careful to be um, considerate of the performer and try not to talk. Okay. All right, Rachel, when you're ready, take, turn around and take your bow. It wouldn't fit. Sorry. The coconut story. The coconut saga. Far, far away across the London Bridge is hidden a mysterious land. The name of this magical land is Musette. to get them for a special English dish served once a year called Christmas Day Secrets. says that long, long ago, an angry pirate and his crew charged the shores of the tiny island and stole all the coconut trees. <laughs>
spread all the way to France, where it was sung about in a French children's song. bakers across the English countryside had to say goodbye to winter and goodbye to the chance to make their special coconut cake. Fish. That, is that the pirates didn't steal all the coconut trees. There was still one left. However, it was carefully guarded by the crazy and vicious cuckoo of the coconuts. <laughs> stranded on the tiny island with his entire family after their ship sank along the shores. <laughs> <laughs> 